Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable gardens. A beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. I just love these cloudy days. You know, it's nice and easy on the plants. You know, that hot sun's not beating down on them. And today's a low humidity day, so it really makes it nice to be working out in the garden. Well, I'm going to be heading down to my pumpkin patch area that's below the pond. And so it's now early July and I have here my garden journal and it shows that I direct sowed some pumpkins, some jack-o'-lantern uh, pumpkin seeds May 2nd. That's when I direct sowed those in, the, in my raised garden bed down below my pond. And so I thought I would just give a garden update on how these are growing. So follow me along and let's go take a look and see how these are thriving in those raised beds. And so these pumpkin plants are growing down here below my pond. And so let's go up here and take a, a walk. And we'll cross this little walk bridge up here. Bailey always enjoys joining us out here in the garden. He's my good little garden companion. In fact, he just got his summer haircut. And so Shannon had come over and, and uh, he got his nice haircut. He looks cute. So anyhow, below the pond here I have four raised planter beds. I had repurposed some picnic tables. And I have another one here. This was actually my daughter's, three daughters' uh, box I made for their toys. It was an old toy box and I took the bottom off of it and uh, used it. I had it sitting around for years and so thought it was a good way to repurpose that. And so up here on the end one is where I have the pumpkin growing. I do have a couple other plants growing here. I have some improved Blue Hubbard squash that's coming along real nice. I direct sowed them back in May. And then I have some, also here I have some other squash, the uh, butternut squash. Another one of my favorites to grow. And here I also planted a uh, zucchini here and so because they take up so much room in my garden I opted to plant them out here in raised beds this year and so here on the end is my where I direct sowed my pumpkin seeds and these pumpkin seeds seeds are these plants get huge and so whenever you plant pumpkins you want to make sure you give them a good have a good eight to ten feet or more of room so that they can spread out I also have a couple volunteer plants growing. I'm not quite sure what that is. It kind of looks like a, a butternut squash growing there. It's always fun when you discover that you have some volunteer plants growing out in your garden. And you can see how this pumpkin plant is just nice and healthy. I grow these in my composted leaf mulch that I mend with topsoil. And I also add alfalfa pellets which have a, like a 3-2-2 nutrient profile to them and so it's a nice organic fertilizer. It's a nice slow release fertilizer for these pumpkins and and different squashes that I grow down here. I also water these plants down here from my pond. I have a utility pump uh, that I put in the pond and then I electrical source that I just plug into and it, so I, it works out nice that I can water these from from the pond so anyhow I'm looking forward to these producing some pumpkins I actually grow these from my grandson Hunter and what I'm going to be doing this year too is I covering the, the pumpkins with milk crates because last year I had planted these uh, pumpkin plants down here and I had a groundhog come and 
devour a couple of them and so I titled a video called Beware of the Pumpkin Eater. And so this year I'm going to be more prepared. I also might be developing a pepper spray to spray on my melons and my uh, watermelons and my cantaloupe and all so that they, they can't uh, bother them. So I'm hoping to do a video on them sometime, on that sometime soon. So anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here on my garden update on my pumpkins. And so anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day. And also, if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. So anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.